Hi boys and girls, it's time for science story time. Today we're going to do a book about bouncing and I want you to help me out by bouncing every time I say the word bounce in this book. So everybody stand up and get ready to jump up and down. Ready? Bounce by Doreen Cronin and Scott Mention. First we're gonna bounce like a bunny. Let me see your bunny ears. Come on, let's bounce like a bunny. Hip hop, hip hop. Now we're gonna bounce like a frog, ribbit. Let's bounce like a frog, curl, plip, curl, plop. Now we're gonna bounce, we're gonna make a big leap like a dancer. I'll bounce to the left if you'll bounce to the right. Now we're going to be bees and bats, so take your arms and flap them so you're flying while you bounce. Bees bounce in the daytime, bats bounce at night. You can bounce a ball right off your hands or bounce it off your toes. I can bounce a beach ball right off the tip of my nose. If you bounce in a puddle, it's best to bounce in boots. If you must bounce in the market, please don't bounce in the fruit. Bouncing with your best friend is called bouncing double. Bouncing on the couch is called bouncing into trouble. Don't jump on the furniture. It's hard to bounce on roller skates. It's fun to bounce on poles. If hippos bounce from place to place, imagine all the holes. If bouncing in the sun gets hot, then bounce back to the shade. If bouncing makes you thirsty, bounce yourself to lemonade. A bounce can turn into a bump, a bump into a fall. Oops, I gotta read. Yep. But it's better to have bounce than bump than never bounce at all. The end. We're going to talk about bouncing shapes today. I have a rubber ball. A ball is a spare. It's round and round and it doesn't have any edges. And I'm also going to bounce a cube. Now my cube is special dice that are made to bounce. Your dice at home probably aren't like that, but you could also bounce an eraser. A lot of times um, they're a rectangular prism or sometimes they're shaped like funny things, right? Did you ever see an eraser that was shaped like an animal or a fruit? So you can try that. Let's see, I'm gonna to try to bounce my ball straight up and down so I can catch it. I'm gonna to try to have my hand right where it is. You ready? One, two, three. I did it, it went straight up and down. Now I'm gonna to try to make it go this way. Have my hand ready. Yep, and now I'm gonna make it go this way. Yep, and now I'm gonna do it straight up and down one more time. Oh, I didn't catch it very well, but it did go straight up and down. Let's try that again. Excellent. Now I'm going to try to bounce my cube. Let's see if I can make it go straight up and down where my hand is waiting. No, it didn't. It went that way. Let's try again. Oh, this time it went that way. Luckily, I have another cube. Now I'm going to try to make it go that way on purpose. Ready? So my hand can catch it. Oh, it went that way, but it rolled all the way off the table. It didn't go where my hand was. Okay, so we'll get on another cube. So at home, you can try to bounce a spare, and then you can try to bounce another shape, like an eraser that's shaped like something. Because I have special bouncy dice that were a spare, but that might be hard to find. So maybe try a rubber ball and a rubber eraser. I had fun learning about shapes with you today, boys and girls. I will see you next Friday, and I will see you Monday. We have a special science story time for a grant that the library got, an NEA grant. See you then. Bye.